right, so today uh, we've been hiking in the jungle and we've actually found what appears to be an abandoned house. Now abandoned houses out in the jungle are a hot spot for all sorts of things. Uh, so I believe we actually have some bats uh, in this room back here. Uh, so we're gonna go see if we can get a closer look um, at some of these guys. So you just follow me. All right, so this guy right here is a lesser uh, false vampire bat. Really, really cool bat. Now, I would try and get closer, but he's a little flighty. And this floor is 100%, oh shoot, rotting out from under me. So let's see. Oh, where'd he fly off to now? Where'd you go? Oh, there he is. He's back in the back. Hi. Oh, there he goes. So he's got a few preferred roosts. Let's see if we can... Oh, where'd you go? Where'd you go? There he goes. He's back right back over there. Now these bats, um, you can see he's using his ears to try and get his bearings on what's going on. He's just twitching those ears back and forth uh, so he can get a better understanding of what is going on inside of this room. Now, despite ooh, a lot of information about bats, uh, they're really pretty, pretty relaxed animals, a little flighty. But uh, other than that, they're not aggressive. Uh, they don't really get caught in your hair like a lot of people think. Uh, but they are really, really cool. So this little guy just flew out of the out of the room. Oh, he's up there now, all the way up there. And the ceiling of this house is very much unstable. So I don't know if I'm going to follow him all the way up there. So we've actually found some, I believe, lesser false vampire bats. Same species we found in that abandoned shack in the jungle. Few of them roosting there, but they're poo poo on the floor. And these guys are insectivorous. You can see the big ears, they're kind of waving around. Those are for echolocation for locating their food. Really cool to see bats. So, I don't know if you guys can see this, but there are beehives. So big honeycombs coming off of the side of this cliff. Very safe place to be if you're a bee. Because sun bears and black bears certainly cannot scale that immense cliff face. Really, really cool to see.